In this video we're going to replace the LCD screen on this Asus X54C. Uh, as you can see the screen on this uh, laptop is shattered so we're just gonna go ahead and replace it. Uh, the first thing I would suggest would be to of course unplug the uh, AC adapter and also um, just take out the um, the battery So I've taken my battery out. We don't want to accidentally uh, uh, turn on the laptop as we are doing the job. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is just go ahead and uh, take out these plastic covers. We have a couple of one on each side. Make sure you put them in a safe place because we're going to need them later. And now we can actually get to the uh, screws that are holding the uh, the LCD uh, frame Next thing we want to do is just go ahead and open the uh, the frame or vessel. And what I like to do is I like to um, just basically uh, use a plastic card to open it up, or you can use your nails too, whichever you prefer. And basically we just take it out. The next thing we want to do is remove a couple of screws that we have at the top. We have one over here. 
and the other one is over here. We also need to remove a couple of uh, screws that we have on the sides to remove the uh, the uh, frame that supports the LCD. Make sure that you save the the, uh, the uh, metal frames in the correct order. So one's the left, the other one's the right. If you look at them, they, ac they actually have a mark on them, just in case you misplace them. It's hard to tell. Let's see if I can... Yeah, it's hard to tell, but they actually have a... Um, they actually have a mark. The next one I do is just uh, remove the uh, flex cable on the back. So we're gonna do this by taking the tape off the LCD screen. And then we're going to remove the uh, flex cable. You'll see a couple of uh, clips that hold it. get a little closer here Okay, so this one's coming out. <clears throat> and I have a, a replacement.
So our new screen has actually a screen protector that we have to remove before we install it. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, plug the uh, connector. And put the tape back into the back of the screen as it was before. Next thing we want to do is just put our uh, the, the metal frames back on the corners. After we've attached both uh, frames to the LCD screen, we just want to go ahead and put the screen back, screw it back into the. Uh, the actual uh, back cover okay so we're just going to screw it back onto the frame And before we, uh, the last step that we have to do is just put the uh, the uh, the screen bezel back onto the screen. But before we do that, so before we place this one back into the screen, we're just gonna go ahead and turn it on, uh, put the battery back on it. Just make sure that the uh, screen is working correctly. So we're just gonna. Go ahead and put the battery back on it. And we're just gonna turn it on just to make sure that the screen is now working. So it's coming on. Everything, uh, everything looks good. We're just gonna wait for it to boot up and just make sure that um, everything looks fine. Okay, so it appears like uh, the screen's working great. So all we have to do now is just put up back our uh, screen vessel back into the screen.
and just put back the uh, the two screws that we've taken out before the lower corners. And now we're just gonna put on the uh, plastic covers that we had before. This ones can be a little tricky because they're kind of small. There he goes. And the other one as well. And there it goes. So that's pretty much it. Um, uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.